uh, this is going to be part three of chapter one. So let's get into it. This is going to be the um, uh, kind of levels of structure that we have when we talk about in anatomy of physiology. So remember anatomy, we're kind of taking apart the body and seeing all the pieces, parts, and we're going to see how they work with physiology. And that's what we need to do. So we're going to go to the smallest bit that we can actually um, uh, kind of a structural unit, which is going to be the atom. Now remember, the atom, which we're going to draw right here, is I'm going to draw like this, and draw like that, because that's kind of a little symbol of an atom. Atom means uh, to not be able to cut atomos, because atom, atom. They, they, they conceived this back in, in like 3,000 years ago, where they were saying like, there's some, there's some reason we can go down to some point where we can't be cut anymore. That's called the atom. Well, now, of course, because we've been able to see more of that, we have things, even parts of the atom. So the atom is the nucleus and the proton and the neutron and the electron around it or electrons around it. But now we know that there's parts of those. So it goes even further and that gets into quantum physics and we're not gonna get into that kind of stuff. But we're gonna start at the atom and the next one we're gonna go to is a molecule. And a molecule is a, is a few different atoms that are working together and they may be some kind of, you know, whatever we'll put like this that's a that's a molecule for example now molecules are going to start colliding and linking together because of their attributes and because of their conditions and they're going to make a molecule uh, not a molecule they're going to make a a compound and i'm going to put a compound like this because really dna and rna are a compound okay and we're going to work through that and go from there you know from there we're going to make compounds into what are called organelles and i'm just going to draw uh, what's an, oh, here's an organelle so an organelle is like the mitochondria mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell so we're going from atoms to molecules to compounds from compounds to these are called organelles, which are, means tiny organs. Okay, from tiny organs, we're gonna go to cells. Okay, and we have a little cell here like this, and there's a bunch of little organelles inside, and da 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 da. These are the basic structure unit of life. Okay, so this is a very basic guy. So we go from atoms, molecules, compounds, organelles, tiny organs, to cells. From cells, we're gonna go to um, tissues, and I guess we're gonna say um, muscle tissue, something like that. Draw, draw muscle. There we go. There's a muscle. Okay, this is tissues down through here. Groups of cells that work together become tissues. Groups of tissues that work together become organs. And we have to draw, oof, actually, muscle is an organ, so we're just going to redraw another muscle. Okay, this is the tiny muscle with the fibers, and this is the big muscle here. Okay, a muscle is an organ. An organ makes up an organ system. Uh, I'm going to do guts here, there's intestines or something like that there. Okay, an organ system like the digestive system. Then finally we're going to get to the organism, which is going to be your little person, right? Beep, 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 beep. Okay, and then that is going to be a bunch of little people, a bunch of other people. I'll put those right over here. A bunch of people, right? Da, 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 da. Make an organization. See how it works? Okay, so we go from an organization, we can break it down into an organism, and then we can do organ system, and then we can do organ, and we can do, we do uh, uh, organs uh, break down into tissues, tissues into cells, cells into organelles, organelles into compounds, compounds into molecules, and molecules down to atoms. So there we go, that is the structural bits of the entire system. Now, once we get through this, we know that everything is made of atoms, right? And, and some kind of compounds and uh, uh, molecules. Now, it just starts to split off because somewhere in here, which we don't know, somewhere right in there, in here somewhere, is life. Now, how do we determine something is alive? Well, there's actually uh, a way to do that. And I'm going to go after that right after this. I'm going to put a list of all of these right down the bottom here to review. And then we're going to do uh, what constitutes life.